All right, today we're gonna to be unboxing a T Sauce M1911. This particular one is the US Army or government model variant. These are essentially 1911 clones made by T Sauce in Turkey and imported by SDS Imports. So, first up, you'll get a nice uh, cleaning brush in the back here, as well as a patch tool. And a manual. And this manual uh, is not gonna have pictures, more or less just illustrations of different things regarding the firearm. So this gun is gonna ship with one seven round stainless steel magazine made by Mech Gar. So those of you that have uh, Mech Gar mags, uh, third party mags for your Glock or whatever, uh, you already know that they do make some pretty nice magazines. So onto the firearm. So this particular 1911 is in a parkerized gray finish, making it a pretty durable finish. Parkerizing is, is pretty nice. It is gray all the way throughout. Uh, your controls, grip, everything is uh, parkerized in the same gray finish, including the barrel. So this gun's gonna ship with just non-adjustable iron sights. I have the rear one and front. The front is fixed. Uh, the rear one, you can move it left and right. It's dovetailed in there. It is of uh, complete stainless steel construction. Features a five inch hammer forged barrel. I'll show you how that barrel looks. Right there. On the inside, you're gonna have polished feed lips. I don't know if I can get that in the camera. I'll do my best. You can see in there. It's gonna have two different safeties. You'll have your grip safety in the rear, as well as your manual safety on the side. And this is a slim safety. Uh, can't really get too much of that gas pedal grip like you could on uh, other 1911s. You can have some slight texturing on the trigger here. There's your, uh, your hammer. It's a pretty thin hammer. It does have a nice texturing on the top there. Overall, pretty nice. You have some uh, checkering on the grips, and these grips are made of plastic. Uh, luckily, though, 1911 grips are pretty easy to change out, and you can easily find custom grips or even some Colt grips out there. Here's your mag release, as well as your slide release, slide stop. You have some rear serrations back here. Overall, pretty nice. It's uh, pretty heavy. I think it comes in at about 2.2 pounds. You have your lanyard loop on the bottom there. You have some uh, texturing on the rear of the grip right there. I'll show you how that magazine looks. Overall, pretty nice. Very affordable 1911 compared to most. All right, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. Thank you for watching.